All right, so here we have our initial measured value of 120 millimeters of mercury. Now notice the decimal place there. The decimal place indicates the degree of precision from which we, ha which we have in this measurement. Three significant figures in this measurement, okay? They want us to convert this unit of pressure, millimeters of mercury, to ATMs and TORs. Well, we can do this, okay? We can do this by using these conversion factors. One millimeter of mercury is equal to one TOR. One ATM is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury, and one ATM is equal to 760 TOR. Those should work for us. All right, well, I place my numbers here. For our first conversion, let's go to ATMs. We're going to use this conversion factor, 760 millimeters of mercury. It's equivalent to one ATM. And here, going from millimeters of mercury to TOR, we'll use this conversion factor one millimeter of mercury is equal to one tor. This will just stay 120, but the unit will be tor. Now in this case, I divide 120 by 760, and I get 0 0.15789 ATMs. Now remember, this is telling me to round each of my answers to three significant figures because my initial value uh, was limited to that um, number of significant figures here. I only had that much precision there. So one, two, three, this will round to 0 0.158 ATMs.